Hey everybody, here we are today. We're down by the Greenpoint Lighthouse. We're gonna be scuba diving in this bay to go try to find scallops. So I recently got my scallop license and also a dry suit. So it'll be my first time ever diving for scallops and my first time ever using a dry suit. So that'll be really interesting. Hopefully uh, nothing goes wrong. Uh, we're gonna be diving in this bay right now. Uh, we're a couple hours from uh, absolute low tide, but we're gonna try to dive here at low tide, kind of conserve our oxygen in our tanks and hopefully optimize the amount of scallops we can actually get. So with the scallop license, you're allowed to get 100 meats. So that's a lot of scallops. Maybe we'll only get a couple of those. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, in behind me, uh, I don't know if you can see through the fog, but that's the way to St. Andrews. Over here, just behind this cove, actually coming around, is uh, one of the Deer Island ferries. So it's gonna leave from here, mainland New Brunswick, over to Deer Island, New Brunswick. And they run two ferries, and if you've never been to New Brunswick, uh, I highly suggest taking this drive to Deer Island because it's a free ferry, and Deer Island's just a beautiful place. You should definitely come down here and uh, check it out. We're gonna go right now and uh, get all of our gear on. So right here, this is the clothes I'm gonna be wearing underneath my dry suit. All my equipment, I keep it in this tote. My weights, not sure how many weights I'll need because uh, I haven't dove with this yet. So I brought like 40 pounds of lead. Right here, this is my dry suit. Made by Bear. First screw up, went to put my mask on and snapped. Luckily, my dive partner has a spare, so I'm going to swap that out. But uh, yeah, it's not too lucky. Here, this is a guide that we can use. Uh, that's three inches. So that's the legal weight or the legal length that we need for one of these shells. So we'll know uh, what to bring up and what to leave behind. OK, so right here, this is uh, the shells of scallops that they would have harvested. So that's what we're looking for. That's a baby one. So yeah, so this is uh, part of the Bay of Fundy, which is known for having the highest uh, tidal range or having the biggest tidal range on earth. So that's why we have to try to do this now at low tide and uh, get out there before these currents come and sweep us away. Uh, when you take that ferry to Deer Island, uh, it's really interesting because you'll go there during one tide and then as you're coming back, usually you spend some time on the island so then you'll see a totally different tidal range there. So again, I recommend going to that place. All right, let's go. We're gonna get in the water right now.
So we just got back out. That was our first dive. Uh, we got down to 46 feet and that dive was about 27 minutes. Uh, I was glad to see that there wasn't that much garbage down there. I found one old spark plug, so I put that in the bag, brought that back. Uh, but there's a couple glass bottles, but glass, I don't even worry about glass. It's not like plastic. So, and you've seen how much stuff was living on it. It's kind of just like a rock. So there's my small haul of scallops. <laughs> there, I left them in the water there, so they're uh, not too stressed out. My dive partner got a lot more. Uh, he was more concentrated on trying to find scallops. I was more concentrated on showing you guys uh, what was going on down there, all the life. Yeah, it was cool to see there was a few lobster there as well. Uh, we never seen any out and about, and I didn't want to chase any out of their uh, little homes there. But uh, on our second dive, maybe we'll see some more stuff. See so yeah, how my dive partner got all these, tons of them. But me, I just got a couple. But you can see here, all those black dots, those are the uh, eyes of the scallop. The only piece of garbage I found down there. Uh, oh yeah, a little sea star. I'm gonna return that back to the water as well. Yeah, so I wanna show you how we use this tool real quick. So you take this, put on the flat side, and that's at three inches. So that's legal. Oh. Chomping away there. So yeah, all those black dots, those are the eyes. So everything that I got was a legal size. I already double checked them all. And yeah, I'm gonna go put this one back and we're gonna go in for our uh, second dive. There we go, I'll put him back. He can go back with his little sea star friends. It's low tide right now. So we're gonna go back in and uh, try to find some more scallops. You can see how low the water is, all this seaweed, this is all gonna be covered in water in uh, another six hours when the tide comes back up. Hi, brother two, let's go.
So we just made it out. Uh, as we were going along, we started getting caught up in a current and the current was starting to take us out to sea. So we popped up a little bit early, got our bearings and then uh, made it back in. Uh, so this is the stuff that I found. A little bit of garbage. I like getting that stuff out of there. Uh, oh yeah, these pliers. It's too bad I wasn't able to get the rest of those uh, tools or that toolbox out of there, but it's just way too heavy and too much stuff to carry back. So at least I got one tool. 
But it was cool that there was a bunch of scallops, like really big ones hanging out around that toolbox. I saw the toolbox first and then all the scallops. So a little bit of reward, I guess. This here, this is how much I got on that second trip. And then my dive partner, uh, he got this many, quite a few. So now all we have left to do is uh, to shuck them and see how much uh, scallop meat we get in the end. So here's the ones I got. I got only 15, but mostly I was uh, recording. But you can see there, those are all the eyes. So we're gonna shuck these right now. And yeah, so we're gonna shuck them for the very first time. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that. <laughs> Just shuck these suckers. This is my scallop shucking knife that I made. It's just a butter knife. So on here you kind of have like a flat side and this curved side. So basically we're just gonna go in behind this hinge here, scrape away at that meat. Separate it out. Again, it's my first time. <laughs> go so there we discard the flat side so on here you can see where all the eyes and stuff are yeah so here you got the gut this is the muscle here this is the uh, adductor muscle which uh, holds the two shells closed so right here this is where the eyes are this right here this is called this is the gonads. I guess this is where uh, it produces like the sperm and the uh, roe. So you got your sperm and your eggs. So we can't keep any of uh, this stuff in here. So the only thing we're allowed to keep is that adductor muscle. So now we just basically strip all down around this. I think it takes practice, but you get faster at it anyway. So basically we just discard that, that just goes to the uh, seagulls. So. so that's what it looks like. So that's the meat there that we're gonna keep, the adductor muscle. And we have to keep the shell, uh, we have to keep the meat on the shell legally. So until we get this home to our house, um, that's when we can separate it. So technically, like if you get pulled over by the DFO, they want you to have these two parts attached. So now we're gonna do that for the rest of these. So this here, this was the biggest one that I got. So you can just see how large this muscle is here. So that's really great. Uh, but I got a little bit faster. So now that I've had some practice, uh, I can show you how much faster you get at this. So I swipe that. And again, here you can see these eyes, these little black dots. So a scallop has around 200 eyeballs. Pretty neat. So then yeah, you just grab the guts like this and see it separates off the meat. And then you discard the meat. Or discard the gut. Sorry, so you're only gonna keep the muscle. So that's the difference. Really good size and a little bit smaller one. These are all of the shells. And this is all the guts and stuff. So take these down, throw them back in the water. Let the fish have some. Otherwise, it's all just going to the seagulls. Well, all right. So now we're gonna take the uh, scallop meat back home, uh, cook them up. So 
We'll see you there. So we're back home now, and I ended up with 15 scallops in total, which is all right. Uh, the bag limit is 100, but I spent most of the time recording this video. My dive partner ended up getting about 60. So in here, this is the scallops that we brought back, and they smell awesome. Right here, we have the smallest scallop and the largest scallop I ended up with. So I'm gonna cook this largest one uh, in a little bit of butter and olive oil in this pan. And this smaller one, uh, I've never eaten raw, raw scallop before, so I'm gonna eat a raw scallop right now. People say it tastes awesome, it tastes really good. Uh, I think I still prefer it uh, cooked in the butter, so we're gonna do that right now as well. Another thing, just in case you're wondering, I did wash them off first before I just ate it raw. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start cooking this one. These ones here, we're gonna cook something up special tomorrow night. Okay, so we got our butter going. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Oh. So we have our butter melted and I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in it. So that's just gonna help the butter not burn when we put the scallop in. So now I'm gonna cut the muscle off the shell using the butter knife or the scallop knife. And now it's nice, it's boiling, bubbling away a little bit. I'm gonna put it on there for about a minute and a half, two minutes. And then we're gonna flip it. Okay, so now we're going for our flip. Look at that sear. Awesome. So now I'm gonna wait about a minute and a half. I really wanna get it nice and uh, crispy. So there, that looks about done to me. Oh man, that smells awesome. This is wicked. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's great. I might cook it a little bit longer. As you can see here, it's almost like a medium rare. Some people might like it like that. I like it a little bit more cooked. But uh, overall, very successful day. Very successful first day ever going and using a dry suit in the Bay of Fundy and first time ever scalloping. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Elvis. <laughs> He wants some too. There you go. How do you like it? Is it good? How do I show? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we made with the rest of the scallops. It's a scallop uh, carbonara. And it looks great. So we just tried the first bite and it tastes awesome. So thanks Mary Beth for this. You did a great job.